They took a brave chance three years ago, investing their own money and putting their futures on the line. And today, workers at Nanaimo's Harmac got a big return on their investment. The owner-operators of the pulp mill receiving their first dividend checks today. Sky Ryan reports. This is a big day for Doug Narver and his co-workers as they walk into work at Nanaimo Forest Products. I mean, that's the best part, is proving those people wrong. The naysayers, the people that say we couldn't do it, and in the end of the day, we did it. With that, our ceremonial first check goes to Curtis Spencer. The employee-owned mill is giving out its first dividend checks three and a half years after workers brought it back from the dead. To see that coming, to get to this point, it's just phenomenal. And phenomenal for all these guys. It's great. Because they all remember this day. In 2008, when the bankrupt owner of the mill closed it, putting hundreds of men out of work. This is probably about the lowest I've ever seen the mill. We've been through many you know, contract disputes. We've been through strikes and everything. It's like somebody's kicked you in your privates. But they battled back with an employee-owned bid to buy it out of receivership. And it resulted in a group of investors and hundreds of workers each investing $25,000 and taking a risk on themselves. Summer of 2008, unemployed at the age of 50 yeah. years old, you know, maybe going to go to school, not to know what you're going to do. Tough time in life. So to have everybody pull together and say, hey, why don't we buy the company ourselves and, and give it a go and make it run, that was uh, a pretty, uh, pretty good idea in hindsight. And with dividend checks that will give these workers each several thousand dollars before Christmas, their efforts to make Nanaimo Forest products profitable are clearly paying off. It's great to have a bit of a return on your money you know, that you did invest. You know, we didn't think we'd see that day, and it, here it comes. You guys have worked really hard to get to this point. We're way further ahead than we were three years ago, obviously. So I think everybody deserves a great big pat in the back because of it. Surviving a roller coaster ride together that's put them in good stead to weather the current economy. All right. <laughs> Confident that the only ones who will decide their job security from here is them.